Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Island Living, our wedding rags huh. to Island Riches Challenge with our missing bride with missing memories, Nalui. And look at Nalui's new coconuts! Oh, I am so excited. So you guys may remember last time we actually built a freaking house! Look at this house! Do you see how amazing it is? I am so proud and I am so excited. We have now finally, finally, finally built a home that has everything we possibly could need to unlock the ability to go ahead and get our gardening going. And I'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, hmm, how interesting. Nilui was able to gather a very valuable research data from surveying the taro route. Well, that's wonderful, Nilui. She's actually out on the job in her new coconut shell which I will tell you guys about in a second. I love, 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 by the way, that when a sim does something leafy green, they get that leafy green heart because it looks just like our first pin that we did, like our first enamel pin that we made as a community and like our little pixel biology pins. It looks just like that. And ah, just how perfect is this pack for me, my friends? It's just, it's amazing. But anyway, Nalui is currently doing her uh, nature historian work and we're trying to get ourselves up to our promotion. We need to research conservation uh, is we need to research conservation and spread conservation awareness to other sims. We have a co-worker wandering by. We might do that with in just a second. But let's actually see. Center research center. Yes! More money! More money! That's excellent! And I will tell you guys why that's excellent in just a second here. Uh, also, we have a coconut. Should I? I'm gonna go ahead and let her eat this coconut really quickly to take off the edge of her hunger. And then, Nalui, my dear, you should go ahead and take a photo. And then maybe even collect a microscope sample. Uh, and then there's a ton of your co-workers over here. So come take a photo and take a sample while I tell everybody about your wonderful house, my dear. But yes, so the house is done! I am still so freaking tickled and in love with it. We have the bathroom, which I love that I put outside because that's just so much fun. Whoa, all of her coworkers want to talk to her all of a sudden. But we have the bathroom, which should hopefully work at some point in the future. Uh, we've also got our little living room, which I just, I'm so tickled about. I love that we're leaving the trinkets that mean oh so- <gasps> How many years have I had city living and I had no idea that when you have the rare little itty bitty, the, the, the cute little rare itty bitty snow globe with the, the dinosaur, the snow is not snow, it's actually little meteors? You're kidding me! That is just too cool. That is too cool. I had no idea. I am so glad we came in here to like look at her house again. Also, Nalui, are your coworkers like totally, they're totally messing up our ability to focus on work. Come on, Nalui. We're gonna forget them for a second. Uh, did we already take a sample? Did they? Oh, geez. Apparently we already have a sample. Nalui is like wasting no time. Uh, come over here and survey that. I'm trying to tell people about your house, Nalui. But anyway, we do have our new home. I'm still so freaking in love with it. We have our picture. We need to start taking more pictures that we'll put up on the wall. Maybe even get a better camera to do those pictures with. We're being accosted by our coworkers who are all uncomfortable again. That's fine. We have our little storage room. We've got our little kitchen. And then we've even got the little upstairs area. Oh, and now it's not even raining anymore. Good. That should make Nalui feel more comfortable. She really is not much one for being out in the rain. And look at the view from her bedroom now. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. I love it. I absolutely love it. But we built her house and the only thing we need now is to get to 500 simoles and pay the fee to be allowed to have a garden on the island. Makes sense to me because, you know, if you have a uh, invasive species of plant, like it's not native, you kind of want to make sure that whoever's planting it knows what they're up to. And we also became chums. We became chums. Curious. No, we were chums. I swear. We were chums with the dolphin just a second ago. That's why we have a new swim top. You guys saw it last time. You guys saw it last time. I know you did. Dude, dude, how can I help you? Like, I guess 
Let's go ahead and do just a friendly introduction. Uh, oh, after careful observation, Louis has discovered an invasive species infesting the floating algae. <gasps> what? We need to spray an invasive species? Like, okay, dude, maybe that's why you're uncomfortable. He's like, this algae kind of causes a lot of itching, don't you think? But this is our co-worker right here. Uh, so we'll talk to him for just a second. Oh, Oliana! She wants to hang out tonight. I wonder if she has a little crush, even though she gets jealous. The romance festival is going on, but we can't get what off the island fish. yet. Mm. Not until we at least complete either her aspiration or her job. But all right, let's slow down for a second. Holy red algae tide! Fellow coworker, this is, we need to spread conservation awareness because this has gotten kind of bad, very bad. We need to take a sample of this and spray the invasive species. This is terrible, fellow coworker. Look at this, it's a red algae bloom. A red algae bloom on my island. This is not good. Oh my gosh. All right, we spread conservation awareness to him at least, which has gotten us a little bit more attention. Oh, this is so bad. Look at this. Like, we need to be seriously concerned. Seriously concerned. I will tell you guys about her coconut shells after we are done with this. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. That's right. Get rid of all of it, Nalui. Let's see. And we did some of it. Yes! We're probably going to get promoted next time, which will be wonderful. But anyway, we became chums with the dolphin, who I cannot blame for, like, noping it out of here. Look at this terrible invasive species. This is really bad. Oh, and, and is he feeling... I think he's feeling really sick from this. Uh-oh. Like, let's ask him about his career. To be like, what branch of uh, our work do you do? Oh, phew. I am so glad we were able to get rid of that. Let's take a photo of what we did. And he's, oh, he's a wildlife enthusiast. So we're actually higher up than him now. And then let's analyze a sample of this dangerous red algae that just showed in, or showed up. Like this is quite concerning. Very concerning indeed. But yes, yeah, so the coconut shells and the new, the new bottom for our swimwear. We're no longer wearing our little bridal under things as we first washed up on the uh, beach and we only had our bridal uh, under things uh, to swim uh, in. Yes. We're wearing a new swim outfit because Nalui became chums with the dolphin. And while we were swimming with the dolphin, she got a uh, interesting moodlet that was like, oh no, there, my top slipped or something like that. So I like the idea that the dolphin actually stole her top. Uh, and maybe gave it back because we need it for being under things elsewhere. But maybe he brought like this cute little bottom as a as an offering, and then we just grabbed some coconut shells off of our island of coconuts and managed to you know just like kind of tidy up and make things look nice. Who's this? Why are you on my island? Oh, it's Sion. He's actually one of our coworkers. I guess everybody's coming to visit our new house. Uh, but yeah, so that's why she has coconut shells. I like the idea that the dolphin, like, took her top, and then we had to improvise, and we grabbed some coconut shells. So this is so cute. I love how she can only get a new outfit when we make new friends. And hopefully we can make some no more new friends soon. But let's get this done. I need to get the gardening bit done. Let's send this information about this red algae to the research center. <gasps> and there it is, friends! That was the last bit that we needed. Nalui, Nalui, my dear, can you, like, practice your singing for a second Don't out of the blue me, to just celebrate the fact that we you have managed, me, yes, to get the 500 see. samoles we needed, D D which is going to end up D resulting, my friends, in the ability, as we escape her, her bad singing, to actually use all of these coconuts and do something with them. So let's do this now. Money, 38. We have now paid the gardening fee so we can actually do some gardening on our island. And we are gonna go hog freaking wild in just a second here with all of the, the gardening of these coconuts that we have to do. Why are we so excited about the coconuts? Well, we'll save a few as actual. I mean, we're all about coconuts today, aren't we? Like going cocoa for coconuts. But we are going to gather all of the coconuts. In fact, let's actually have her come over. That's going to take us a hot minute. And we can plant things. Oh, this is so exciting. We could start our own little taro root field. Oh, and we could start our own little kava area. 
oh yay, and now it's raining. Now's a good time to plant things. But basically, we can plant these coconuts. They spring up like freaking daisies in no time. Oh, she's really happy with the sea majesty. And then when we are done and when we have enough coconut trees, we can go ahead and come on in and sell them for 155 a piece. 155 a piece. We're gonna have money, real money. Let's get her a real bed. That's the goal for the day. Get Nalui a real bed. Also feed the poor girl at some point. Oh, and before we actually go to harvest those, let's actually clean up this trash. Just on our way to swimming back home. <gasps> and not only can we get her real money, let's get her a real bed. And then because of the, the investigation, uh oh, she's scared of the, okay. She's actually terrified of thunder and lightning. She has really, like, she looks really happy about it, but I promise you guys, she's actually terrified of thunder and lightning. So we might let her go inside for just a second. There you go, Nalui. We're about to be able to make so many new things for you, my dear. Let's make a nice little fruit salad uh, of a coconut. A coconut fruit salad. And I guess we can do family size and put the extra in the fridge. Will it stay any good in the fridge? Well, we should probably buy a new fridge. And we should probably upgrade our kitchen, which we're going to be able to do because of coconuts. But once we sell the coconut trees and kind of do a couple house upgrades, just a couple, I actually want to start buying her the dive gear so that we can spend some time doing some deep sea diving. I think that she would really love that. I really think that, that we would get those pictures of underwater. And I feel like on these days, you know what? I really feel like on stormy days, she gets really spooked pretty easily. So I wonder if we should call one of her friends over. I think we're gonna like do that. I think that, wait, we can't call anybody. Wait, can we call somebody? Oh, maybe there's like a local emergency message. I thought we couldn't call anybody when we're on the island. That's so interesting. Well, Oleana said she wanted to hang out tonight. So let's actually invite her to hang out, I guess. I kind of want to invite over Uku Panipo. You know what, I think I'm going to invite over Ukupanipo because he's probably one of the only ones who could make it through this storm because he's a merman and I like the idea that maybe he he's just swimming by. In fact, let's do that. Who's this person? That's one of our co-workers. I guess we could actually invite one of our co-workers inside like, hey, get out of the rain. It's dangerous. Talia! Okay, Ukupanipo. Oh my gosh, Ukupanipo is literally just like right there. Friendly. I feel like we should invite maybe our old coworker too. So let's actually add her to a group with us. And we'll add Ukupanipo to a group. And I don't know, I just feel like it'd be nice to let her have her friends like come on in. And then maybe go here together. Because the storm is here. We really don't want our poor old co-worker, Talia, to, to end up hurt somehow. Oh, jeez! And the lightning, I think, would really, like, freak her out. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, she's very scared of lightning, for obvious reasons. Declare weather preference. Declare hate for rain? Maybe? Declare preference. Maybe, maybe, yeah, you know what? Let's declare our hate for the wind? the rain the rain because of the lightning and the way that it really makes her nervous she does better on sunny days there we go Aww. i just love the idea that uku panifo is like yeah i was um just in the area because he is a merman okay friendly declare hate for i've never declared hate for a weather type before and we're just nibbling our coconuts And it's so dark in here. I wonder if we can find anything. Oh, and he's just chatting with us. That's so nice. I wonder if we can find anything that can provide light. Maybe he can be like, hang on, I've got something. Uh, and actually, let's try... Uh, I hate to sell a coconut tree while it still has coconuts on it. But if we need to, I can actually sell those coconuts now. That makes me so happy! 
Okay, there's a little... Oh, this is so interesting. Yeah, there's little candles. Let's go ahead and sell a coconut tree. And then there's like this little... Oh, the little light bringer. That's so cute. What do we have from Island Living? Let's see. All... Oh, the torches. That'd be kind of cool. Ocean-inspired paper lamps. <gasps> These would work. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. I wonder if, like, maybe Ukupanipu can help us set up these lamps. Island Clarity Light. Cascading Light. There's, like, literally torches we could set up, but that's a little bit much. Oh, what a pretty floor light. That's really lovely. Oh, the illuminated kava bowl. Traditionally used for drinking kava, this koa wooden bowl now holds a candle floating with plumerias. <gasps> that sounds lovely. And a plumeria illuminated table lamp. Oh my gosh, those both sound super lovely. But considering these guys kind of work on like jerry rigging things together, I like the idea that they're like, hang on, hang on. We, we can just get some of this paper lamp stuff. Let's see, what's this? Cascading light trio. Oh, this is so cool. I just love the idea because they, they're so used to working together to build her house. They just like grab some excess paper and can make something happen. Do I want to put it over here? I kind of love the idea of doing this illuminated plumeria bowl. Here, let's sell another coconut tree. Our, our boy with the big crush, Ukupanipo, is going to help her make a cute little end table. In fact, let's look at all of the tables so I can pick from them. Uh, yeah, she he's going to help craft a cute little end table really quickly. And do we want this one with the drawer or do we want the against the grain table? I think the one with the drawer. And then he is going to find a little candle. Another coconut tree down. Look at this! Oh, I love these coconut trees. Summer is almost over, so we better enjoy them while we can. There. Oh, I love that. Yeah, guys, I love that so much. I love the idea that he was like, hang on, if you're afraid of like the lightning, like we'll work something out. And he found like a little old koa bowl or a little old kava bowl and filled it with plumerias that he picked out front. Oh, in fact, now I want a plumeria bush to like represent picking, picking them out front. That would be so cute. Do we have plumeria? Let's see. Plume area. Plumeria tree and trees. How much? 300? What the heck a doodle? Ah, these are kind of cheaty coconut trees, but still. Oh, okay. I'm going to do it just because I did kind of, they, they were forbidden coconut trees that were a little cheaty. So I suppose, oh my gosh, it's huge. <laughs> now let's, uh, maybe let's shrink that down a little bit and we can grow it over time. <gasps> I love that idea. Our little plumeria tree is just like this big now, but it might grow over time. That'd be adorable. And I kind of want to tuck it over here. There we go, next to our little cave. All right, so our boy Ukupanipo went out and he found some plumerias in the little candle, maybe in like a, a kit. And then while I can see better, it's kind of, there's so many different types of wood. You kind of want to match them. You kind of want to offset them a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, I think, I think I'm happy with that. I mean, come on, Ukupanipo. You know what? We're going to make it really fancy because he's like trying to show off his skills here. There we go. There we go. All right. I love it. And then he went and picked some plumerias for us. And we have gardening powers. Did you see that? We needed some light in this place. So how did we get it? We just went ahead and we sold some coconut trees. This is going to begin an entire new era of possibilities for our wonderful Nalui. And it's all thanks to coconuts, which I'm just, I'm so tickled. Oh good, now the rain is lighting up, like getting lighter. We don't even have to be that afraid. Let's go ahead and maybe... Maybe like deep conversation to to say thank you. I wonder if we could enthuse about interest, discuss flavor profile. Uh, let's go ahead and express admiration because it's like, hey, thanks, dude. We really, we really needed that, and you were there for us. I don't know where that other woman is, so let's actually find her and like remove her from the group. Oh, here she comes. 
The storm's over now. Just go back, go back, like, shoot. Just, you can, you can totally just head back to wherever you were going, friend. All right, I might have a little soft spot for a merman who really likes, like, his friend. Oh, <laughs> he's a glutton. I forgot about that. I think he really loves human food, and that's why he likes coming up to land. Let's see. <laughs> Let's spread conservation awareness. Aha! Uh -huh. And there is our co-worker, actually. So this is actually Lally? one of our co-workers. Let's go ahead, maybe ask about her day. Yeah, she she no came up to <laughs> seek refuge during the unpredictable storm. And if we can become friends with her, I can't remember. Oh, let's ask her to show us some outfits. I totally forgot about that. What does her everyday look like? That will help us decide like what kind of outfit, if we become friends tonight, she might give us. Oh, she has a nice little outfit. Just a nice classic dress. And speaking of outfits, we can actually go ahead and change into the outfit that Uka Benipo gave us. There! Oh, I love that! I love the idea that Tia showed up and she just, like, got to dry off a little bit. Oh, we're bored! You know what? Now that the, the rain is gone, let's come outside and let's build... Let's, let's go ahead. Oh, we can play in the rain a little bit. Or we can make mini sand sculptures. Hmm. Can we do that together? Let's go do that together. Or maybe, let's look at the stars in a second, too. I feel like that's something Ukupanipo might want to do. Where's he going? Oh my gosh, he just put the... <laughs> he just shoved that fruit salad all the way up on top of this wall. No, dude. Alright, let's put those fruit salads away. Let's go ahead, maybe invite to build sand sculpture. How many people can build a sand sculpture together? Okay, well this day didn't quite go how I wanted it to go. Or, well, how I thought it would, to be honest. But I do think we've learned something interesting about our wonderful Nalui. She really, really dislikes the storms. Ukupanipo, I feel like if we know they're mermaids, then we'll invite them to our island um, during those big storms. But I don't think we should invite our friends during those big storms unless they, we happen to know secretly that they're mermaids. Because otherwise, like, bad things could happen. Oh, jeez. Look at how quickly we built that, that little sand castle. That's really cool. Um, how do we how do we say like yeah, brighten day like good Pisa. job, buddy. Doba Harpin. And then oh. we still <laughs> want to get our fun up, so let's go ahead and ask to stargaze because that gets fun up quite a bit. Phew! All right. Yeah, this day didn't quite go how I thought it would. And I think actually now Nalui is thinking about maybe hanging up some lanterns in some of the coconut trees to kind of lighten up the way. Because in a way, her little home is becoming like a lighthouse for those who are in trouble. Oh, in fact, maybe that's what she and Ukupanipo are talking about right now since Tia has come to like get some rest after being tossed around by that storm. Her home really could become like a lighthouse for other sims to come when they are in times of trouble. And I think that's something special that would really give Nalui kind of a sense of, you know, taking control of her destiny and being able to help others the way that she has been helped. And we're going to do it with coconut trees, probably next time. But let's go ahead. We'll get our fun all the way up. And then we'll see what happens. I'm actually going to disband the group. And yay! Okay, so Tia is off. She feels good. And we're just going to let these two kind of look at the stars. I just heard a frog. Wait, we just became good friends all on her own with Ukupanipo and that just made our reputation go up again? That's so cute! And speaking of frogs, I need to- where's my other frog? <gasps> My whirly flower frog escaped out of our pockets! That's what happened! I am devastated. During the rainstorm, our whirly flower frogs, which have been with us for so long, literally just escaped out of our pocket. I can't believe that, guys. I can't believe that. Okay, and she's really happy from made a good new friend and a deep connection. I like that. I really... I really think that's special. I think we will try to make our home 
a lighthouse for those on troubled waters. And I'm really glad that the rain is over because as you guys know, that's a very, very hard time for Nalui. And it is actually Sunday. So when she wakes up in the morning, she is actually going to have a moment to sit down and write in her journal. And then we are going to randomize her personality once more, just a little bit. We are going to be randomizing the foodie trait this time. And we're gonna see what happens, like what personality emerges as she struggles to bring back the memories that she has lost. But I kind of want to see how this is going to end. I may be, I may have secretly begun rooting for these two, I won't lie, but we are a married woman. So like, don't let that, don't let that get ahead of things. Let's see, where's our small genies? There we go. We are a married woman. Oh, and look at that, the clear skies. This is much more like it. This is more like it, indeed. But yeah, okay, so new rule for, for my own gameplay. Only mermaids can come to these kinds of deserted islands during big scary like storms like that. We don't want our other friends coming over on their canoe. And um, gosh, I guess we should go ahead and say goodnight to him. Holy cow, now he's inspired? Wow. The other time we tried looking at the stars at the volcano with him, Ukupanipo, like normally he runs off, but what? And now he's headed off. Wow, that was really amazing. And we can have our coconut trees. Okay, guys, the storm's over. Nalui no longer has to worry. I do think we will keep her indoors when there's really bad storms because there's just something that strikes a deep lightning bolt of fear into her heart about those. And when we come back next time, we will start working on her coconuts, her new personality trait, whatever it may be, and preparing her for the big adventures of continuing to work her way up the job. Now that we have the ability to create a garden, we hopefully will be able to make some cash from that. Uh, the other challenges for the rags to riches are to reach level 10 of our chosen career, to complete our aspiration, and to uh, get 100,000 samoles in invested in the house and a hundred thousand in the bank and also to marry fall in love and have a child which is going to be an interesting twist since we are already married so have we technically fulfilled one of the requirements where did her wedding ring go where is your wedding ring woman <laughs> oh boy or well We'll just have to see where things go from here. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like to help collect coconuts with Nalui. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But until next time, my friends, stay curious. Bye-bye.